28-year-old Ronald Michael is dead, and his family and friends are asking why. The Belisete man was on Ordonas Avenue, doing a favor for a friend when he was shot multiple times from behind. The owner of the yard that Michael was killed in, Lorenzo Ordonas, stated that he was not at home at the time. His daughter, Kenisha Ordonas, told us she was the one who asked Michael to cut her yard. Well, my wife called me and told me that your man was helping our daughter to chop the yard and he had been shot behind the house by the septic tank. So I drive up quick here with the police and start the whole commotion. I mean, really, I, I, I'm just waiting to see a picture of him. I don't, I don't know him. No, he's a fever. He's doing to my family, in other words, because he's my daughter's friend, good friend. So he came here because my daughter tried to build a house in the area. So he came here to help her clean, to clear the area, get it, get it fixed up, ready to, ready to build a house. The man is person. I don't know much about him, but I like know it being good to me. Is he normally in this area? No. What First time, he said to build a house to back, and then my... So he tell me, sis, I will help you. So I tell him, all right then, but the area need to be clean. So he said, all right, I can help you. He's supposed to make call do it fast, fast Saturday. But then he never get the thing then to do it, so he can't do it today. And I'm there for the veranda it all the while. All the while I'm there it for the veranda. I come in, call my nephew here. And then we hear the bomb, but then we may have a fire at the back. So we say, well, there's something out of the fire. How much shots were yeah? Two. The murder scene was a heartbreaking one, as various relatives and friends of Michael gathered around. Being blocked off from the scene by yellow police tape, all they could do was watch in agony as officers removed the body from the scene. Meanwhile, the rest of Michael's large family congregated at their home in the complex area. His sister, Kimberly Michael, expressed her grief over her younger brother. When was the last time that you spoke to him? Last night. Last night. That's why this really hit me. Because last night, me and he made the talk, the run joke. And he always tell me, he says, sis, I don't fear nothing. He always said, I don't fear nothing. And he go anywhere he want to go. That's what he always said. And I swear for my brother, but back then, he made it give a lot of trouble. But he changed your life. You know, he changed your life to be somebody. You know, but to be honest with the chance uh, and the person will do it, that was a coward. He's a coward. He shot my brother for back way. He's a loving person. Everybody will know Ranal, know him as a loving person. He always got people to smile, even if you're vex. He always put a smile on your, your face. He always there wrong, you know. So everybody went on. And tell her they stay one day where kill her, they want her a long time. So tell her, I hope they're happy and they rejoice. Because we no business need at all. The chance my cousin. And we know that. We don't love. Yeah. We party every day and we enjoy for ourselves. And tell her, whosoever kill my mom, we know. I will enjoy myself and will celebrate about it because of kill a legend just like Kobe Bryant. Police did not have much information at the time of the murder as they had just started their investigation. Michael had two children a seven-year-old son, and a daughter below the age of one. Reporting for Love News, I am Courtney Menzies.